The golden rule of acrobatics for me is if it's fun, it's right. And if you can find the fun factor as you're training, you're gonna wanna do it more. So a lot of times what we'll do is we'll start with some partner fitness exercises that can help you do the same actions you'll need in the acrobatics later in dynamic fun ways. Cross your arms and find a forearm grip. With straight arms, lean away, bend your knees. When you stand up, bend your arms. So this is a squat counterbalance. It takes three people because you need three people to do this practice. Base, flyer, and spotter all warming up their legs, a little bit of arms. Lean away with straight arms and then pull back. And you can do 10 or 15 reps. You can go as deep as it's comfortable in your body. This is a great way to start the practice. Connecting, working together, everybody listening. With arms straight, chi bounces. Body stays straight as well. You're learning how to bend and extend the arms, finding your muscles and finding your bones. You can work with dynamic power. You can even jump off the hands, but make sure you're listening. So you're using the right amount of power in the right directions. Make sure you find a full range of motion, straightening your arms each time. High fives are always fun. Some of the principles are getting the legs vertical for the base and having good lines through the arms depending on what skill is happening. If you have stability through the straight lines, there's a lot more freedom. Bases feet parallel. Find your stack, arms and legs straight and vertical. Flyer looks forward, spotter one hand under the belly, one hand under the thighs. To come down, base bends the knees and you help your base up. So you know you're doing L-base acrobatics well when it's easy for both people. So there are very challenging skills, but when things are aligned, when you have good grips, when you have good foot placement, this practice can be very easeful, super fun. So keep working on little details of the foundation, how the hands and the feet match the body, how the lines are, so you're basically using your bones to support more than you're using the muscles. Okay.